Welcome back to Future Simplified, and today we're going to explore one of the most versatile tools for note taking, the iPad. Let's dive into the best apps, tips, and techniques for note taking on your iPad. Hello, everyone, it's Tom here. So, the iPad isn't just for browsing and entertainment, it can actually become the ultimate note taking experience. With the right apps and techniques, you can turn your iPad into the ultimate productivity and educational tool. Ready to take your note taking to the next level? Let's get into it. So why choose an iPad for note taking? The iPad offers that perfect blend of digital and traditional note taking. You get the flexibility of digital tools like searching for your notes, having them organized endlessly, and the ability to drag and drop in integrated multimedia while still enjoying that tactile experience of writing with a stylus. Let's talk about the best note-taking apps on the iPad. Here are my picks. So the first one is GoodNotes. GoodNotes is a classic and used by many professionals and students. So GoodNotes offers that great feeling of writing by hand allowing you to then customize your experience and the easy access to cloud storage. Next up is Notability. In my mind, Notability is the perfect app for me when it comes to note taking. It has the same level of integration and customization that you get with a good notes and the storage and the organization, again, are fine. You can break them down into subfolders. But what I really love about Notability is the integration with PDFs. For whatever reason, and I can't replicate it on anything else, working on PDFs in Notability is so, so seamless. I really genuinely enjoy taking my iPad out, reading, and taking advantage of the integration with the Apple Pencil that just feels so seamless. Again, it has the ability to back everything up to the cloud in a PDF format, so you can always keep your notes. But Apple Notes is built seamlessly into your iPad, so you're able just to very quickly pull up a note from anywhere. That's a great feature, especially if you're deep in an existing workflow. Um, it is a classic. It has the ultimate integration with the Apple Pencil. However, in my opinion, I just feel that the organization has never quite been there for me. I've really struggled to structure the, the filing system for it to be useful for students or professional needs. So <laughs> the next one is OneNote. Now OneNote has barely had an upgrade in the last five years from when I first downloaded it, but I keep coming back to it because it's an absolute classic. It allows me to use my iPad right in the heart of my professional workflow. So I'm able to use the notes that I write on my iPad and they sync directly up with my work Windows PC. That is an absolute game changer for me. So I've been able to replace notepads for work with my iPad without worrying that it's not gonna be compatible because it's completely compatible with the entire Windows suite of products. So OneNote for me is an absolute must if you're somebody that wants to begin using your iPad for more than just your own personal needs. Okay, so I've got OneNote up here with me now and I am a massive fan. As I say, Notability is probably my favorite for all of my personal needs and I do use it for my PDF writing, but when it comes to actually working and syncing up everything I need on here with my work laptop and also my phone, if I quickly need to check my notes, you can't go wrong with OneNote. Um, so this is a personal note. You can see that you're able to set up different notebooks. So at the top, I have my, my work notebook, uh, and this is my personal notebook. Within there, I can then create sections. So I've got example A, B, and C, and then within there, you can create different pages. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm in my example C section. Let's say that this is that I'm taking uh, notes so that I can learn a few things. Um, while I'm working, I'm going to go into my first page. Now this page is all about marketing technology platforms. Really boring stuff, but I need to use this for work. And what I love about OneNote is the infinite scroll. So I've taken a number of example notes here. 
Um, I might talk about the programmatic value chain in case you're interested in that. Um, drawing out that diagram really helps me in, input that information and retain it. Um, I'm able to this end take additional notes here, use the integration with the Apple Pencil just to highlight certain features. Um, say I want to have a look over here, yeah, great, perfect. That will draw my eye later. And then I'm able to use different colors to take additional notes on anything else. And that is absolutely vital. The best bit is that I can keep zooming in and in and it's just an infinite scroll. So I could just keep writing and writing and writing the whole way along here um, and all the way down and never stop. So for somebody that likes to have quite a eclectic note-taking style, we'll go into those in a minute, I find that OneNote is perfect for that. And the fact that it syncs up with all of the other Microsoft products is, is great because it allows me to tag all of my work streams. And while I'm tagging the comments and the notes within there, I can just quickly search for them whenever I need them. And that again, just improves my productivity output. So before I start going into techniques, I have to give a special mention to my new favorite ideas mind mapping app, which is Freeform. Freeform is the endless scroll Apple Pro application that allows you to write and use the benefits of all of the integrated Apple devices, such as the Apple Pencil, and just build an endless mind map. I'm finding it really useful for creating my own concepts and ideas for video taking for um, my YouTube channel. So you can see here, I've got examples of um, writing through the actual content for this specific video. I can bring the ideas together and then I can draw the examples of how I might want the thumbnail to look, how I want the script to sound and add in any additional notes in case I forget anything. So I absolutely love Freeform for just general ideation. So that's a little top tip there if you haven't come across it yet. Okay, so now you've got your app, let's talk techniques. So let's say you've got your iPad, you've got your application, you're ready to go. Here are some techniques that work amazingly on the iPad and I'd like you to comment below if there are any techniques that I'm missing or that you use in your day to day. Now it's no surprise that the first one is digital bullet journaling. Now this is an absolute classic, has been used by yourself probably many times. Um, of course, it's the perfect method for those that like using structure. Now the apps above that I've mentioned previously will allow you to do this in a much more even way. Of course, you can use customized templates to keep track of certain things. So for example, you might wanna have your date in the top left, your title, ensuring that you've then got additional notes or what we call a car park on the far left. That will allow you just to keep everything and all events in one place. And so the second one is mind mapping. Now this one is something that I like to use uh, uh, the free format for that I've mentioned previously. So mind maps are great for visual thinkers now I would classify myself in this. So I like to use this app to just interconnect diagrams together. It helps me organize my ideas visually. So I'll create different sections for different content types or learning ideas and just genuinely use the open canvas to just move around and feel completely free in my thoughts. I don't like to be locked into grids. In fact, the physical notepads that I used to have were all blank because I really like just drawing around this space, but limited. And so the last technique is what we would call sketch notes. So do some of this research for yourself, but this is probably where I bring in the combination of visual mind mapping with the previous method of bullet note taking. So I like to use this, especially for um, building out structures that I can remember and key points of information. So if you're a visual learner, Sketch Notes allows you to combine the drawings that you're a fan of, the symbols and the artistic diagrams of mind mapping, but then ensuring that you're putting text next to that to ensure that the key points are not lost. So you don't want to be writing an entirely visual mind map if you have to remember key facts. So this is perfect for students and for professionals. But of course, all of these you could do with your notepad. Why is it better on an iPad? So here are a few quick tips for how you can get the most out of your iPad and use it to really power better note taking. 
Well, the first is no surprise, split view or using stage manager. You're able to take your notes while reading the information at exactly the same time. Now, this may seem trivial, but what you are able to do here is not look away from your screen. You can keep completely dedicated into that process of focus. So I like to use this when I'm particularly trying to jot down key points of information from say a PDF that I'm reading that has the latest industry press on, or for example, for students, if you're taking notes um, from a video, you're able to have that loaded up on the side while also taking your notes. Now, you're also gonna to want to organize your files. So you don't just wanna create an endless list of brand new notes, you're gonna want a process. So try and make sure that you are clearly able to label each file. And what you're able to do is even within those notes, if you want to just generally search your entire application for a specific note, you can add a tag to that note. So even though it's filed in a specific place, you can type in a search for that tag and it will surface the relevant note in all of the files. So that allows you that two levels of flexibility, the organization and the forever keeping of those notes in the right place and the ability to surface them whenever you need. Now, what I plan to tell you is that you should experiment with different styluses, but I've decided to change my mind on this because I actually just think that, just get an Apple Pencil. The Apple Pencil comes in both the USB-C connection type or the digital version that is magnetically charged. So that will clip on to the side of your iPad like so, which is great, or you have one that can plug right into the USB port at the bottom of the iPad. That is much a much cheaper version. I personally went for the Pro that sticks onto the side just because I like the way that this can carry um, and I can definitely not lose it because I know where it is. So there you have it. The ultimate note-taking experience on an iPad is now yours. So combining the right applications, the right tools and the right techniques, you can combine them together to jot down notes in class, to take notes at work and bring in your ideas wherever you are in any device. So thanks for coming, thanks for watching and please like and subscribe if you found this helpful and comment below because I want to hear from you. Are you using these techniques yourself? Are there any that I've missed? Um, are you finding the iPad useful in different ways? We want to hear from you. Now join us next time on another video. We'll see you later.